My lords, the press statement by Dr. Akombe is found in the affidavit in volume one of the bundle of documents supporting the petition. It is annexed to the affidavit of the first petitioner. It's at page 81, marked NM14. And this is what Dr. Akombe had to say. For many months now, I have questioned my role as a commissioner at the independence, at the indi sorry, for many months now, I have questioned my role as a commissioner at the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, but have soldiered on hoping that we could collectively find a way of addressing the crisis our country faces. Sometimes you walk, sorry, I have agonized over the decision to leave my committed IBC field staff and my country. My decision to leave some of you will, sorry, my decision to leave the IBC will disappoint some of you, but it is not for lack of trying. I have tried the best I could do given the circumstances. Sometimes you walk away, especially when potentially lives are at stake. The commission has become a party to the current crisis. The commission is under siege. This is an admission, a clear statement of the presence of violence affecting the work of the commission. Um. Madam, is that statement hearsay or is it a statement of truth coming from the person who, who, um, the person who perceived it? S sorry, my lord, come again. Is that hearsay or is it a statement from the person who perceived it, the person who expressed it and witnessed it, the one that you are giving just now? The statement is made by Dr. Akombe herself. Uh, is she the one speaking? Is just one statement by the person who witnessed the situation? My Lord, I'm not sure that I get the question correctly. The point simply is that there are things which are perceived. Yes. And as a matter of evidence, those who perceive them can speak about their veracity. Those who have not perceived them can only relate them as evidence. This is basic law of evidence. Yes. I think you need to speak about that. My Lord, this is a statement but that is written by the commissioner herself. It is signed by the commissioner herself as a person who was working at the IBC as a commissioner. It would be said she perceived it and is therefore qualified what to What medium speak. is this coming? Because that medium determines veracity. This is basic law of evidence. My Lord, this is a written statement on the letterhead. Can you vouch as to the validity and veracity of that statement yourself or any other person without the owner itself, the one who pronounced it, speaking to that? My Lord, the only evidence that we have is that this statement has been owned by the chairperson and the commission. It has not been denied. And so we take it as being a fact of what is being spoken and that it actually came from Dr. Akombe herself. It has not been denied. It has not been. OK, proceed. But my Lord. Uh... I think that my Lord, uh, the point my Lord Justice Ojuang is making, which should form our objection, is that whereas the statement by Dr. Okombe is fairly not in dispute, for that evidence to be brought to this court, who is making that affirmment? You can't, you can't make a statement made by a person and you are not making clear the medium through which you are admitting it or making it admissible evidence. Akombe has not sworn any affidavit before this court. 
So my learned friends should satisfy the test. Through what medium are you adducing that evidence? Because the veracity of the same, you can't adduce all kinds of statements made throughout the world, and you cannot channel it in a proper manner through this court. My lords, an inference of truth Sorry, an inference of truth must be drawn from the fact that the chairperson of the IBC acknowledges this statement, refers to it in his own affidavit. It is part of the documents that were presented. So where there is no denial as to its veracity, today it cannot be claimed that this statement was not been made. It is admitted by the second respondent himself. Paragraph 48 of the affidavit. And indeed, the second respondent goes ahead to express his own views with regard to that statement. 